Police in Phuket await post-mortem results after deaths of two elderly Westerners last weekend. Two bodies were discovered last Saturday of a Canadian and Swiss man at their apartments in the Shillong and Katu areas of Phuket. Autopsies were ordered and tests for COVID-19 virus. An unware 83-year-old German tested positive this week for the virus after previously showing no symptoms. Police in two districts of Phuket are investigating two deaths on Saturday of two foreigners, a Canadian and Swiss man at their respective apartments. Postmortems are being undertaken to establish if they had contracted the COVID-19 virus. It follows news on Tuesday that an 83-year-old man German man had become the island's 193rd case even though he was unaware of the infection and had displayed no symptoms. This comes as the latest research by experts in Western countries suggests that up to 75% of people infected do not show symptoms of the virus at all. Police in the Shillong district of Phuket are waiting on the results of a post-mortem investigation following the discovery of the body of a 70-year-old Canadian man in Shillong on Saturday last. The man was found in a rented apartment in the district and removed by volunteers from Phuket's Ramjai Foundation. Police are trying to determine how the man died and also if he may have been infected with the COVID-19 virus. Canadian man found in Shillong District was originally from Cochrane in Alberta, Canada. Captain Sam Kiet Saracen revealed that the dead Canadian was originally from Cochrane in Alberta, Canada and had died several days before he was found. His apartment was located on the Jaufa East Road near the police station in Shillong. Swiss man also found dead in his apartment bedroom in Katu on Saturday by a close friend. This was followed by a similar occurrence in Katu where the body of a 72-year-old Swiss man was discovered by a close friend in his bedroom on Saturday last. The man had lived alone at the location for over 10 years. He was originally from sales in Switzerland. Details of the investigation were given to the local newspaper The Phuket News by Captain Pira Wat Yoter of the Kata Police who revealed that the body of the man was found at 1 p.m. On Saturday, she brought him food and other essentials. The man lived alone and did not have a wife or partner. No evidence of foul play or medicine for underlying condition as police await results of an autopsy. Police also reported that they found no evidence of foul play at the scene of the man's death and also that it appeared that he was not taking any medication for an underlying illness. However, the 72-year-old was using a wheelchair that was found at the scene by police. The body of the European man was removed with extra care. The operation carried out by volunteers with the Kusoldam Foundation wearing protective clothing. It was removed to Vakira Phuket Hospital where an autopsy was to be conducted. Police said that they should have the results of the test in a few days. They had also notified the Swiss Embassy of the man's demise in Thailand. Further reading. Popular Phuket-based Facebook page attacks foreigners and tourists in Thailand as virus tensions mount. Stranded Russians offered free food in Phuket as Aeroflot begins to airlift over 21,000 stranded home to safety. Conditions tighten, grow more tense for visitors staying on in Thailand during the coronavirus emergency. Party foreigners arrested for breach of emergency decree in Pattaya and on Kova Ungan Island in police raids. Officials find a visa solution for up to 500,000 foreigners riding out the coronavirus crisis here in Thailand.